Hey guys, how's it going? It's the jurors here. Some unturned players are an absolute joy to play with. The other 95% fall into these five categories. I do want to say that if this video doesn't completely ruin your day, please do click that like button. Let's start with the worst of them all, the scumbag teammate. When it's base building time, he's looting Millie. Every time you log in, he is in a different group and quickly switches back to yours, pretending like nothing happened. His room in the base is filled with charges he didn't farm and he is always the first one on the loot pile whenever you get a kill. Every time he logs on, you die a little bit inside. There is no worse distraction than this scumbag teammate. You will inevitably kick him out of your group, but not before he uses every charge and loses every decent gun you have in your base. The worst part about this guy is he isn't even good at the game. If you happen to see one of these succubus bastards, please make sure you shoot them on sight. They are usually named things like Epic Kills with a Z or something tough like T-Bone. The PvP nut isn't much better. This wonky-eyed nutter butter is a broken record. Hey man, wanna go raid some bases? Let's raid some bases. Wanna go Millie? Let's go PvP. He floods the chat with where is everyone? Where is the PvP at? And other phrases that make you certain he is dumb as rocks. The biggest problem with this guy is that he's probably 12 years old and 10 times better than you at PvP. If you alienate this dumb bastard or put him in his place, he'll be sure to make your life a living hell. He will be pounding on your base door until midnight yelling, I know you're in there. Inevitably, the PvP nuts constant raiding and killing will turn the server into a ghost town because who the hell can handle a 12 year old resembling Rambo on bath salts, parading around the server, murdering fresh spawns and harassing first time players as they sit in their one by ones shitting themselves. <laughs> Unlike the scumbag teammate, you are better off leaving this guy in your group because then he will at least leave you alone. Next we have the base rat. You love him because he fills the food crates and keeps the generator fu full, but damn is that guy boring. You can't get him to do freaking anything. There is always some project he is working on and eventually you end up sitting there like holy fuck I need to get the hell out of this base. Even when you do convince him to leave the base, you feel like you are a five year old again, going with your mom to run errands. Alright we need five bricks for accent colors, three gas cans for oil derricks, and then we need to refill my Ritalin prescription. If you do manage to convince him to go anywhere remotely interesting, he will puss out at the first sign of danger. Did you hear that gun go off on the opposite side of the map? We better go back, I don't want to lose my Alice pack. Even if this player irritates you to the point that you are ready to throw yourself off a cliff, he is definitely worth keeping around. Fourth on our list is the scared child. Now don't get me wrong, this player doesn't have to actually be a child, but for all intents and purposes, they are a child. The scared child tends to build unimpressive bases containing an unimpressive amount of loot. They spend 50 hours loading all of their characters with mediocre gear until every character is filled to the brim. Now what do they do? Well they don't log on because they are afraid of their characters dying and losing the loot they spent 50 hours collecting. It's always something weird too, like one guy will have 50 blowtorches on him and you'll be like, what the hell? And he's like, this is my blowtorch guy, this is my gas can guy, and this guy has my smoke grenade collection. Eventually the server will reset and this poor kiddo will have spent 50 hours collecting, countless hours shitting himself, and that's about it. Finally, the roleplay guy. Hell, I don't even want to talk about the roleplay guy. Let's just say, if you aren't on a roleplaying server, don't roleplay. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye